What's going on guys? Haxa here with, uh, <laughs> well, as you can see here, things look pretty different, but I have something else I want to talk about here at the start first. We'll talk about what's going on here in just a moment. Um, so the console came out, uh, the console patch, I should say, came out on the 15th, and I've had a lot of people in my comment section talking about how their game is in Korean and uh, asking how to fix that. And uh, don't try and fix it. It's not on your end. The devs fucked up. And I'm not trying to be mean, but uh, shocker, the devs fucked up. Um, if you try and fix that, you're going to ruin your entire game file. Because I know what the, 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 the common sense thing to do in that situation is go through every single possible option here. You know, like, you'll probably, like, go here and you'll figure out this controls. You'll go here and you'll start fiddling around with things in here, trying to fix it. Um, you can't. Even though there is a, a language option here, I'm pretty sure it does nothing. Um, the devs sent out their dev patch, which probably means there's a dev menu there too. I would not be shocked. Don't try and look for it. You'll uh, soft block your game. Um, so people will start clicking through things and then they'll accidentally click this reset data. And I've already had people in my audience talk about how it happened to them. If you click this while trying to fix your language, you will reset every amount of progress you've made and have to start from the beginning. Do not do it. Don't do it. Okay. It's a terrible idea. Um, just wait patiently for the devs to fix your game. Uh, they will fix it, but it's hard to say how long it'll take. Hopefully, they are scrambling to fix this mess. And I hope they have a way to help people who ruin their save data. As far as I know, there's no way to get it back. So just be careful. Because I know it's 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 terrible to lose all that progress. Um, and it would someone even said they're not going to play anymore. Um, I hope that's not true. Uh, but if you decide not to play the game, like just be careful, okay? Don't screw around too much with your game while you're while you're stuck in the Korean stuff. We were dealing with that in the beta as well. It took them a while to fix it, but they did. Uh, Southpaw is a very small dev team, but honestly, there still is no excuse for this. This is terrible. But I, like, this is not. I, I'm not going to make this a sanctimonious type thing. Just you know, be careful, okay? Uh, all right. So now we're going to move on to <laughs> this weirdness we see here. A lot of people are probably confused. Um, this is something I've talked about a couple times, and I'm sure, like, some of the more, like, like, Skull community members of this audience know what's going on here. Um, so, there's a YouTuber, uh, a new YouTuber, he's new, but he's, you know, making a pretty big splash. Uh, his name is Mr. Baku Nudo. Baku Nudo? I don't know. I, I always try and say it right, but I'm sure I say it wrong every single time. But, sh uh, shoutouts to him, I'll probably show his channel here. Uh, he is a modder of Skull the Hero Slayer. If I, I know there's been other people attempting to do it before him, but like he certainly accelerated it in a way that uh, other people haven't. So shoutouts to him. Uh, there pretty much is no modding scene in Skull besides this. This is a sandbox mod. Um, however, there's other things about it as well. Personally, I'm not going to use the sandbox, uh, sandbox aspect of this mod. I'm not interested in that. It's not fun for me. Uh, what I'm here for is a few things, actually. Um, so, shouts Mr. Bakugo Nudo. <laughs> um, hopefully, you guys go check him out. Uh, and if you're interested in playing this, for one, you have to be a PC player. So, you can't do this on console. Not that console players can really think too much about modding their game right now. They're too busy trying to not lose all of their progress. <laughs> but um, and, and if you're curious on how you install this mod, Mr. Bakugo Nudo has a recent video he made talking about the changes that he made with his most recent update of the mod. And at the end of that video, there's a mod installation tutorial, so you can watch that to figure out how to do it. It's really simple. Or really, it's either really simple or a little slightly complicated. There's multiple methods, but you can choose whichever method works for you. Anyways, um, I'm here for a very particular thing. You can choose any skull you want. As you saw, there's just Yaksha there. You have like the usual... Um, Wait, was there two werewolves or not crazy? Okay, there wasn't two werewolves. But you can like go to unique and legendary. You can choose anything you want. That involves uh, omen uh, items as well. I'm not going to do any of that for the record. I'm not. That's not fun for me. I like the RNG of Skull. Um, I'm probably only going to play this for one video because um, there's really only one thing I'm interested in for this mod. We're going to come up on that here in just a moment. Uh, I don't remember where he's at. There he is, this fella. You uh, are looking at this guy, you're like, who the hell is that? He has no name, apparently. 
Um, I'd like to see if I can get his other thing. There it is. Um, this is the Plague Doctor. And you might be wondering, who the hell is that? Um, this is a character who's been in the game's code. For Also, I just realized I accidentally got 23 bone shards. Though, I don't think it's that big of a deal. But I didn't even want to do that, per se. But it's fine. Um, he's been in the game's code for a very long time. But he's never been implemented into the game. A lot of people know he exists. But no one has... Or I mean, There's been a few attempts to make him playable. But I think Mr. Baku Nude... Baku Nudo is the only person who has actually released a playable version of this character. I know someone else has tried, and I don't think they ever released it. Anyways, um, this is a character who's been in the game for a very long time, and finally, uh, there's a mod that makes him playable. However, <laughs> he is not without his problems. Um, this is an extremely broken mod, like, and broken in a bad way. No offense to Mr. Baku Nudo. I think it's not even his fault. I think it's just that this character is so... Like, this is from pre-alpha versions of Skull. So there's a couple things we gotta talk about here. Um, this character only has one dash. I'm mashing dash, he cannot dash more than this. So that's a thing he uh, has to deal with. Also, his dash has no iframes on it. Like whenever he's, he's literally always vulnerable. He cannot uh, be invincible while he's dashing. If you try and dash through uh, like say the, the light mages like beam of light, he will take damage. So that's problematic to say the least. Also, um, I, I don't know if this is Mr. Baku Nudo's fault or not, but um, this special flask here, like we have the pollutant flask here. Uh, he does have the alchemist's abilities, and he's supposed to have a couple of unique things about him, but this, a skill for whatever reason, I think it's supposed to be a poison flask, but it's just the like stun flask. So this is by no means a perfect mod, um, and his basic is very strange too. It's literally one animation, and... Um, it's pretty broken as well. Um, however, I guess you can consider this a challenge run on my part because I'm going to try and make this character work regardless of his flaws. And he does have a ton of flaws. But like I said, I don't think it's Mr. Baku Nudo's fault because he's basically taking a character from the literally a version of the game that was never even released to Steam. Literally only the devs had this character and they were like making him. This is probably from a time when the game was like way different. Um, there was probably no iframes on dashes. There was probably no, um, like, like the basic attack here is probably like his entire basic. I don't think he has any chains or anything like that. Like, I don't think Mr. Bakunudo left anything out except for maybe the poison flask. Either way, um, he's a very flawed character, but we're still going to try and make him work. Also, um, um, there's a couple of other things in this mod that we're going to be uh, checking out together. Um, I'm going to take anything I can that is not normally in the game, and this is not the only thing that is not normally in the game. Like, as you can see here, we're going through all the items. Like, here's all the sin items. There's the uh, adventure legendaries. We also have the uh, mage's staff here. We're not going to take it, though. We're looking for something in particular. I don't remember where it's at. Um, I thought it was a legendary, but it might be a common. It's a very specific, special little item that's also been in the game's code for a very long time and never implemented for some reason. I couldn't tell you why. I think I went the wrong way, guys. We're going all the way around. Oh no, there's so many items, help me. No, oh no. <laughs> okay, well, it's fine. Um, Where is this? I guess it's a common. Oh my God, there's so many items. We're not even out of the rares, I apologize. We gotta be getting close. We gotta be getting close. Oh, I think it's an ABC order. I think we're very close. There it is. Oh my god, it only took forever. This is an item. It's supposed to be one of Jones's items. Or yeah, Jones. Jones it makes me sound like I'm saying Jones is, but it's Jones item. <laughs> Grace of Leonia. When casting a skill summons a barrier of Leonia at the current location. Cooldown three seconds. The barrier has 20 HP and it gets damage when within an area. Increases magic attack by 40%. It's actually a pretty dang good item. And it's going to be very good on this skull. Because we're going to need the the uh, help. <laughs> this skull is broken. Um, and there's another one last thing here. A very special quintessence. That has also, as you can guess, been in the game's code for a very long time. And unreleased for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and it's... Oh, there it is right there. Alright, that didn't take long at all. We have Kiri's. 
Control time. When you use the quintessence, Kiri's will slow down enemies for 4 seconds. Damage dealt to affected enemies will occur at all at once as fixed damage once the effect ends. Personally, I'm not so sure this is going to be a helpful quintessence. And if I'm really struggling on this run, I will ditch it. I will ditch this quintessence in 2 seconds. Because this is going to be an extremely difficult run. I even kind of screwed myself out of getting a good partner skull. Because I accidentally summoned, or I summoned two of these guys. Um, he cannot be upgraded for the record. Oh, without further ado, we're going to be on our way. I'm sorry that was so long. I just, I, I wanted to start with, you know, obviously talking about the mod, but I saw so many people in my audience struggling, trying to figure out what to do with their, you know, new game, the 1.7 problems that I just wanted to address that. Um, so yeah, oh, we're going to be Omega Giga careful here, guys. Like I cannot stress you. Oh my God. He's so big. What the, that can't be on purpose. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's after this ends. Okay, there they go. For a second, I thought I did something wrong. There's a swap, by the way. Um, he's got a few unique things going on about him. Um, but overall, he's basically just a, an alchemist skin in the current version of the game. Um, oh, I guess you can swap skulls and instantly summon another. I, I would doubt that that's on purpose, to be honest with you. Like, you can bypass the cooldown of this item by swapping and then, like... Like, if, if this was in the game functioning as intended, I doubt that would be a thing. But yeah, we're using some of this weird stuff here. Like, some interesting, unique uh, items. Um, as I said, this is going to be an exceptionally difficult run. To the point of, like, kind of absurdity. Uh, I don't know if I'll even be able to use the Plague Doctor against, like, the Dark Hero, for instance. Because, um, he has no iframes on his dash. And you... <laughs> <laughs> you have to be able to dodge the Dark Hero's moves. Um, obviously. Like, it, it, it's kind of insane. Um, I only tinkered around with this a little bit to do a little bit of testing. Oh, did I mention? Oh, man, I think I forgot to mention this in, in the intro just because it got so long. Um, this also has a problem with dark abilities because um, he did... the. Like I said, this is a very old character that's been in the game's code for a very long time. When he was uh, uh, being designed, dark abilities weren't a thing. And I think because of that, certain dark abilities do not function with him. Um, oh, I forgot to take items too. <laughs> oh, I forgot to take my second item. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm going to take that and be on my way. Um, but yeah, he, he's very janky. So there's certain dark abilities that, like, say, have an animation attached to them that I'm not convinced that I can use with him. So, like, my usual go to dark abilities, like. Um, Oh, wait, wait, the cooldown is supposed to be 30 seconds. I think the problem is it's literally not 30 seconds. Unless that's intentional on Mr. Bakunado's fault or something because he thought maybe the item sucked and fixed it or something. Um, I, I think the problem with it is it just doesn't have the correct um, amount of time attached to it. Not that it's a super big deal. Um, but yeah, um, he doesn't work with put pocket. Um, he doesn't work like and if you take these dark abilities, it literally turns off all of his damage Like he cannot deal damage on his own anymore uh, This is something I found while testing him yesterday. So be very careful when you're using this character Also, we have no money good. Okay. Well now we have money <laughs> Okay, that solves that I suppose Yep, we'll be on our way then <laughs> It's cuz I didn't take the Carly on I didn't even take like a, a basic Carly on item I was a little thrown off as you can imagine Kiri's has no animation. Oh, I did this wrong. Uh, they're not... No! I've wasted him. Like, he's just like a massive being in the background. I actually feel like the only way that this run could maybe work is with a broken version of this item. So it's actually probably a good thing that um, this is not functioning as written in its text. Because otherwise we would probably die. Like, very quickly. I probably won't be able to use this guy during uh, the Liana sisters either. There's a lot of times in this run where I'm not going to be able to use the Plague Doctor at all, basically. <laughs> he's very broken. He's very bad. Um, another funny quirk about him is, um, like, since he's so old and existed in the game before, like, a lot of stuff in the game existed, like, his damage that he does is also, like, kind of, like, a t like it's balanced around, like, skull before like most of the game existed so like he has no damage too like th this skull is terrible in every conceivable way so 
don't get too excited. Also, as you can see there, there's like a spinning flask there. His basic attack, uh, the flasks that come off of it, are very busted and they don't work right. Um, which also, I don't know if Mr. Bakunodu could have done anything about that. Uh, I was talking to him about it um, and, you know, he says he doesn't really have the time to fix it. So it's pretty much stuck like this. Like, it's not going to get any better. <laughs> And, and I don't, no, I'm not trying to, like, put him on blast or anything. He he has, like, you know, uh, this is, like, a hobby of his. He does this on the side, and he has, like, a job and everything. So it's understandable. Um, I'm tempted to take this. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want a powerful special attacker to go with this guy. Um, and I don't, I don't think the cumbersome gameplay um, flow of the mage will lend itself well to what we're going to be dealing with here. I will upgrade this thief because I feel like we're going to need some power getting out of Act 1. But, um, yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be rough. This is going to be a interesting run. Uh, I did have thief armor in my, uh, practice attempt. Practice in quotation marks. I, I just played the Act 2 and broke the game when i took um oh yeah we can't we have iframes <laughs> right right i broke the game when i took put pocket and rift blade and i didn't really get to play much further than that because then uh, my my guy here stopped dealing damage at all so i was like okay well that was that we had fun <laughs> uh i'm gonna probably be taking super baby on this run and obviously collection desire we're gonna be taking a lot of stat increase um but if something has a direct animation attached to it i will not be taking it because, uh, you know, it just doesn't work. Or That's my assumption. I assume I'm correct there, but obviously I don't know for sure. Um, I probably should have tested more with it. I don't think dark abilities in general will break him. Um, just if it has like an animation attached to it, which makes sense. Um, so just be careful. If you plan on playing this guy, um, most people are probably just going to download this for the sandboxy stuff. Uh, personally, like I said, I'm not interested in that. I don't find that to be fun personally. Um, I, also, I already complain enough about the game feeling kind of sandboxy in general. So it's like, why would I want a literal sandbox mode when I already think that Skull can be kind of sandboxy at times? So that's just my personal opinion. I'm very interested in like unreleased characters being uh, put into the game and stuff like that. So I'm all about it uh, when it comes to little interesting stuff like that. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, he is a balance skull. If I wanted, I could take this. And we already have duel on this. I will actually take that. Pretty happily, too. There's more duel, but we're not looking for physical stuff. We're looking for magic. None of this is interesting to me. It's also kind of interesting that this has duel on it instead of, like, fortress. Which, in my opinion, good. Just interesting. Uh, I could, however, stand to take it. I'm not going to take it, though. I'm looking for magic stuff. Ooh. Oh, 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 wait. Okay. Go-getter is a thing that we can take, I'm pretty sure. And also, having spirits on this run will certainly make up for the problematic nature of having this, like, horrifically bad skull with us. <laughs> so, maybe we're on, maybe we're cooking, guys. Maybe we are indeed cooking. Wouldn't it suck if he also broke with stuff like, um, oh yeah, I keep forgetting what this does. Oh god, it makes the game feel laggy. Oh god. Okay, we well, instantly just, just demolished that Dark Elite. He didn't even stand a chance. Did we even, did we get the heart from him? I don't know if we did. Not that it matters super much, but, you know, I would like it. I earned it. Uh, Dark, Dark um, dark abilities are going to be kind of second on this run. We're going to, you know, hope and pray that the stat increases work for me. But one thing that I can say about this Plague Doctor that I, I think he has better than the Alchemist is I think his skill cooldowns are, like, very low compared to the Alchemist. So you can do some pretty interesting ability spam stuff with this guy on the, under the right circumstances. But obviously, those circumstances are... Uh... <laughs> Basically, what I think this character was bef uh, before he, uh, you know, like in the pre-alpha days, I think this is like beta alchemist, basically. And then they came up with the alchemist, and they didn't have, like, an identity for this guy, so they just kind of scrapped him. 
Honestly, I hope they bring him back as a poison skull because I think he'd work excellently as like a the poison uh, skull, uh, like inscription, uh, like because you know we have like an arson skull rep, we have a free skull rep, we have like ten stun skull reps, but we don't have poison, so I'm kind of hoping that's what they end up doing with this guy, um, and I hope he doesn't rot in the games' as code forever. Uh, although odds are that's what will happen to him. Are we even? Yes, we are hurting him. Okay. All right. Oh wow, you can just okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yeah. For a second, I thought maybe my my dash frames worked there, but they. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it was the immunity from this item, which, like I said, godsend on this run. Like very happy to have it. If there's anything I love about this uh, mod, it's the addition of cool stuff like that. And there's also a. I didn't talk about this at the start. There is a Balrog. What is that? Oh, that must be the icon for this for some reason. We cannot dash through that. Keep that in mind if you're playing this guy. Uh, do not try and dash through Yiggy's um, things if you're out as him, because he will take the damage. He like he does not have iframes on his dash. He will just like take damage stupidly. Very dumb skull. Ah! Uh. Thank you for the iframes. Even, like, honestly, um, this item should have 30 seconds attached to it, in my opinion. It's, like, it kind of insane <laughs> in current form. As you can see, I'm just kind of cruising. Which, y'all, it, it's fun and all, but uh, the 30 seconds makes sense to me. So if Mr. Bacanado got rid of that, I would, I would ask that he put it back. Because, like, come on, this is insane. <laughs> Though it could just be glitched. I don't know if Mr. Bacanado touched anything. With unreleased stuff like that, there's going to be a lot of issues. Okay, I think I want World Tree Seed. However, oh god, we got to do the. Ah, uh, okay, we have room. We have room. Uh, no, we weren't fast enough. It's not a big deal, but damn, now we're behind. Going into Act Two, though, you know, it's still going <laughs> to. We still got to contend with Act Two, so we'll probably take a lot of damage anyways. Aging. Yes. And go get her. And you, I gotta avoid Rift Blade. I gotta avoid Put Pocket. I'll take Super Baby. I wish there was a way to test here to see if I'm still doing damage. I'm a little nervous. Because it might be dark abilities in general. Because from what I understand, when Mr. Bacchanado was playtesting this, he couldn't beat Mirror 10 with... Uh, or he couldn't even beat the Dark Mirror with this guy. So he just decided to... Okay, it does work. It works. So yeah, it, it definitely, I, I'm fairly certain, it is um, attached maybe specifically to Put Pocket, but I'm going to play it safe and say it's attached to all Dark Abilities that have an animation attached to them. And I'm not going to take anything like that on this run. Which gives me an excuse to play Super Baby. And you guys can't yell at me for it because I'm doing it for good reasons. <laughs> yep, that's my, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, as you can see, it's not all bad with this guy he can kind of do some stuff sometimes uh like i said ability spam might be his forte um as much as a forte that he can have and maybe we shouldn't be committing to this thief because we're not doing any damage <laughs> which ain't good oh my god our swap miss does zero damage and it's like i said it's probably because he existed in like the pre-alpha days and like when he existed like, they were only probably, maybe hadn't even created Act 2 yet. So they were balancing his damage around Act 1. It's like, yikes, dude. Also, I kind of like this, um, this, uh, Quintessence more than I thought I would. Like, we're probably gonna kill all these guys. Except for you, but you're the Dark Elite, so it makes sense. Let's be very cautious about, um, Cannoneers with our guy who can't dodge. Uh, he has no iframes, so... You know, just a little bit of caution there. But yeah, um, I, I hope you guys are uh, at least interested in this. Um, there's other skulls besides the Plague Doctor in the game who also are in the game's code that haven't been released. There are at least one other. I don't think there's any others besides the one I'm thinking about. But um, I think Mr. Balconado is currently working on uh, releasing that character. So there's more to come. It's not ending here with just this guy. We'll take the drugs. I'm, oop, Fulgent Dawn, one gajillion percent is uh, coming along for the ride here, if I can just get it. And I did. All right. 
Okay. Things are going pretty smooth. I do say so myself. Uh, it could be going worse is the thing you should be thinking. You know, with this character who sucks, like straight up, he's bad. Um, there's no redeeming qualities to this guy at all, except like I said, maybe ability spam. But even then, you know, <laughs> uh, it's, it is what it is. But, you know, we're, we're still kind of having a good time here. So far, so good. Once I get to the Liana sisters, I guess that'll determine how I'm truly feeling. We only have the thief to really work against them. Because I'm not going to be even... Sw I'm not going to swap even once in that fight, I don't think. Because I just don't want to risk getting caught in an undodgeable attack pattern. And then losing instantly. Because I literally have no iframes. Okay, can you go away, disaster? Thank you. We'll swap here. I did not mean to activate my Quint. Literally just... Um, I'm going to go after this guy too. Alright, thank you, Kiris. Honestly, a really cool Quint. I hope they eventually do implement him. It's like a really cool idea. Um, I don't know how good it actually is. It's like, it, it, is it better than Suan Isio? Probably not. Which already kind of does what it does. But, eh, you know, it's fun. And they could maybe improve on him. Also, I, I, I imagine they're actually... Oh, no! <laughs> I imagine there actually is an animation attached to that, and maybe Mr. Baconado just couldn't find it in the game's files. Maybe that's a thing you could go, if you're going to watch this for the record, I don't know how far he's going to get into this video. Maybe that's a thing you could uh, implement, because um, I'm pretty sure I have seen animations for this guy um, while looking through the game's files. Okay, we thankfully have our Leonia shield here, which is saving me immense HP. But yeah, um, that's maybe a thing you could implement further. I understand not fixing this like broken character although actually this is something else i wanted to say if you maybe fancy yourself uh, a bit of a modder yourself uh, i'm sure mr baconado would appreciate some help so maybe i don't know there's um a, there's a uh for one there's a skull the hero slayer discord server if you're unaware of that you could maybe join that and i know mr baconado has a thread in that server um and maybe you could uh, go there and offer your services. Uh, obviously, it's a labor of love. There's no, like, getting paid or anything like that. But I don't know. Like, it would be nice. Also, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, like I said, I'm sure he would appreciate the help, potentially. And, that you know, obviously, don't go there if you know for a fact you're not good at modding. Like, only go there if you're serious. But, like, um, a Skull the Hero Slayer modding scene is, like, one of the things that i would love the most in this game and the fact that mr baconado has done anything at all in this regard and others for the record i don't know everyone's name who has been modding the game and i apologize for that shout outs to all of you um th this is like the coolest thing that's happened in school in my opinion like straight up um like you know there, there's certain games that uh have modding scenes that keep the game alive like say like enter the gungeon for instance has like a, a thriving modding scene to my knowledge Otherwise, you know, that, that game's pretty old and people would have left it alone. But, like, stuff like that is, like, just... Like, if Skull's gonna have, like, long-term longevity after the devs have moved on from the project, which I don't think is happening anytime soon, but, you know, obviously think about the future. Um, stuff like this is, like, what will keep the game alive after uh, all is said and done and the Fat Lady sings and all that. So, I'm really hoping that um, something comes of this. And, um, like I said, this is a hobby for Mr. Bakunado. Um, so he, you know, may one day move on and leave, uh, Skull modding behind, at least for a while. Especially once, um, other games, like, you know, Skull's kind of, like, popular right now because of its new update, but can't expect him to stick around forever. I, I would just enjoy that stuff like this keep happening, even after he's gone. So, that's all I wanted to say. Also, I am, I'm actually going to take this, screw this, <laughs> we had our fun with it. This is way, way, way better. I'm very interested in this. All right, so I'd like Elemental's Blessing if I can find it. Or this. Or this. Get rid of this. Sure. We don't need Mana Cycle. I want it. But uh, Misfortune... F oh, actually, Misfortune 4 isn't very good, is it? It's fine. I don't know how good it is on this build. I do want this, however. Um, this can go, which means we're going to lose our Misfortune 4, which is completely fine by me. 
and maybe there's more I could improve here. I don't know how super useful critting is on this build. Uh, the only reason I'm kind of even building towards it at all is because of this. And this is quite good as well. So we could maybe do some stuff with crit. What's our crit percent? 25, which makes this not nearly as um, desirable. Um, maybe we won't build into our spirits. We'll just keep these two. It's more than good enough, honestly. These two together, you don't... It just get go-getter, and these two function just fine. They don't need fairy tale. But, fairy tale 3 is pretty good, right? Um... Yes. Though, I might go fairy tale 3 just if I find Elemental's Blessing. What's some other... Antique, actually. Yes, antique. 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 Because we need to go a little defensive on this run. Um, thanks to this guy. <laughs> and his terrible existence. Just like a stinker on this run. But still. Uh, I got I gotta make up for him. I would love to win uh DM10 with this guy. It would be a uh a showcasing of my Ross. Oh, you're a dark lead. Well that explains a lot. <laughs> my B, my B. You know, it is what it is. I, I I had a bit of a brain fart there. I wasn't thinking like wonder why that's not dealing damage. I just kind of barreled ahead like a Dumbo. You need to get out of my face. Dude, the um, the Leone item, is, or the Joan item, I should say, is such a godsend. Like, honestly, it's carrying the run. I'll be real. You know what? Maybe there's a reason why the devs haven't released this, because it, it is very, very good. Even at 30 seconds, it would still be insane. <laughs> like, this is an ins incredible item. Though, honestly, Joan needs a legendary... It's kind of stupid that she doesn't have one. This could very easily be like a really nice legendary for Joan. So maybe the def should, uh, I don't know. Okay, this is getting bad. Um, let me respect these Mother Hubbards. Because they are being nasty with it. And we're taking a lot of damage on the way to the Eliana sisters, which is bad. We don't want that to happen. We want to go in there with as much HP as possible because this run, basically this run needs two lives at Dark Hero, I think. I don't see this going well any other way. What? We're behind the thing. Why did that deal damage? Okay, this is bad. Um, all of a sudden I'm feeling pretty unconfident against the Leona sisters. All right. Well, that's not good. Um, we're pretty much not going to use the Plague Doctor at all during the whole thing. Which is also bad, because our thief is pretty weak. All things said and done. We gotta hope for the best. Hopefully it all goes well. And I have my doubts, to say the least. Okay. The worst part of every run. It's time for these two. These uh, awful, awful, awful people. They're just bad people. Like I always say, I don't want to feel like how the game tries to like kind of make you feel bad for them with like their cute little items like, um, you know, proof of fellowship and stuff like that. It's like, what, like you're trying to make me feel bad about the Leona sisters, these demons from hell. Like, screw you. <laughs> it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. I don't care. You can't humanize these monsters to me. Like I said, I'm very committed to not swapping here. I don't care how long we're stuck here. Um... Because swapping will see to my doom. And I'm not letting that happen. At least not before act... F if we get to the um, first hero and I die, I'll consider it all good, baby. Like, you know what? I gave it my best. And it, it all came down to the 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 abilities of the, the Plague Doctor. That's going to be my copium, okay? And you guys better let me do it too. Like, I don't want to see anyone be like, Hacks, you sucked! That was awful! No, it's the Plague Doctor. It's not me. And don't even think about saying it was, okay? And I'm already like I'm already coping. That's how uncertain I am of this run's ability to succeed. Like the coping has begun, and we're not even dead yet. Out of my face. Why did that not stun? I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that sucks. If only it had been this sister. That would have been so good if it was that sister. Now we gotta do this phase from full HP, which is awful. I'm going to respect the hell out of her, though. Um, literally the most respect you've ever seen in your entire life. 
like the most reverence um i have zero confidence against this fight so you know what y'all y'all have broken me at this point mrs uh, leona sisters here we go can i dodge this yes well we got lucky once Just gotta get lucky like five more times. You know, it's who whoever said it was hard, not me. Okay. She's not doing the thing, which is great. The less she does that attack, the better for okay, here we go again. It is dodgeable. We got lucky. <laughs> no low to the ground, no horizontal slashes. That's all you need. You know, whoever said it was difficult, not me. Not me. Oh, I see what that is. It takes 20 HP. It probably says this on the item. It does. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Whoops. I thought like it was glitchy and maybe was like not functioning right, but nope. It's functioning right. It's just the hacks to read for once in your life challenge. I'm still not going to do it. You can't make me. Oh, not dodgeable. I mean, it's still technically dodgeable. We dodged it, but you get what I mean. Like you have to like get lucky. That went super well. All right, beautiful. Now we can play the Plague Doctor again for at least a little bit. <laughs> Going into Act 3, though, it's pretty scary. Um, Heirloom would be super nice, but I don't think I can fit that. There's Proof of Fellowship, which I don't also really want to fit. Although, I am eventually going to get rid of this item. That's my physical, 250. It's going to get better, but I don't know if I can justify this. I kind of can, though, because of Antique. And like I said, eventually this does have to go. It could be now. Or I could just break a Legendary. I got options, basically. Um. Hmm. We do have Go-Getter, which makes the wheel even better. Honestly... <laughs> I'm a wheel fiend, guys. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, why am I sorry? Like, I, I is who I is. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I'm a wheel fiend. I admit it. I love him. He's a lovable lug. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Okay. I, for a second, I thought something weird was going on. All right. So now we have collection desire, which incentivizes me to really spread out here. Things are going well. Pretty well. Things are going uh, aight. That's a better uh, descriptor there. Uh, I might try and re—I uh, might try and reroll my abilities a bit to get the uh, mist ability on this uh, thief, just so we have some iframes. We'll see. Uh, I guess I'll have to feel out how I feel about Act Three here. This could be where it all goes downhill, especially with the uh, the plague doctor who is uh, truly awful. We'll swap there. Stun and you're dead. Oh, wait. Yeah, he throws a timber detriment. We'll let him do that. Oh, oh, Frieza. It still has six HP. That's crazy. Oh my god, it has so much HP. That item is so good. <laughs> we can't get hit by a brawl, though, because then it'll instantly lose all of its HP. Like, there's no. Like, never screw around with, uh, with brawl. Oop. There's quite a number of things here I want to see duped. In fact, pretty much all of it, honestly. There's not a thing here I don't like. So, bring it on. What do you got for me? You got mail. Ooh, okay, okay. That's plus 35, that's plus 25. It does give me the chance to go back to... Um, Misfortune 4, although I'm not super stoked on that. Uh, this could go, I guess. We can buy artifacts. It gives me dual 3, and I can get dual 4. What's dual 4 again? I gotta remind myself. Envelize damage dealt to enemies by up to 30. Oh my heavens. Uh, see ya. We'll just buy Antique 4, or Artifact 4, and we'll probably buy Dual 4, but which is bad for my collection desire. Ooh, actually, I changed my mind after seeing my stats go down that much. <laughs> that was quickly lived. You know, it, it, was, it was a thing I thought for just a moment. In fact, this is probably going to go. 
I can't imagine me keeping this, but the magic, but the the extra stuff it gives me is so cool. But I don't think we can justify it. Oh, I forgot to stack my Arachna. Oops. My B. Sorry. Uh, I'm sure people are yelling. Uh, I'll do it when we get to the next act. Or no, when we get to the mid act, because I for some reason forgot that um, it works uh, in the mid act boss area. And, ah! You're not you're not stunning me, and there is a freeze in here, so be aware of that. Oh come on, that is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh, ow! You can deflect all you want, sir. You can't. Well, he can deflect the wheel, but he's not going to. I was about to say you can't deflect the wheel, but you you definitely can, which is honestly just BM for being real. But you know, I wonder if you can deflect these. Ooh, that might crash the game. I have to be careful. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because it's like the the things that come off my basics are technically projectiles, but I wonder if it's coded into the game. I can, I keep wondering if I'm going to like crash the game accidentally with something like that. Or it might break him like it did before, and then he won't be able to deal damage. I don't know. I want to be very cautious with this guy. Like, he's got he's got issues. The good thing is, at this stage, even if we did stop him from dealing damage, he would technically still function as a skull because he can, um, you know, work with, like, I guess, ability spam in the wheel and stuff like that. But it would significantly weaken me. Alright, we're definitely healing in here. And from there, I don't know what I want. This could be fine. I think I'd prefer Bone of Mana, though. Though, is this a beggars can't be choosers type deal? Could be. Ooh, actually, we should buy our inscriptions, actually. What am I talking about? We already have Antique. That's kind of yikes. Forgot about that. I'll definitely buy Artifact. And then from there, we'll... Oh, 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 God. <laughs> I just wasted like 1k. I forgot. Ah, I forgot I got rid of that. Oh no. Um Technically buying wisdom for is better. Mana cycle has to be the call though, right? Mana cycle is the call. All right guys, I wasted money. Don't yell at me, okay? Okay? I didn't mean to, okay? It was an accident. Accidents happen. You know, it's all good. Well, things, things, things can sometimes get a little uh, haywire in, in the Dark Mirror, you know? You can lose track of things very easily. It's a hard game mode, okay? And also, I just don't read. So, <laughs> honestly, I don't know why I'm trying to, like, copium my way into, like, it wasn't my fault. It, I just didn't read. Like, it's, it's that simple. All right, this guy's starting to do some damage. Um, he's not so bad all of a sudden. That definitely deals more than, um, 20 damage. Like, without a single doubt in my mind. Mm, mm. Get briefcased. That's all I'm gonna say. That That's actually the Plague Doctor's motto. I just came up with it. Get briefcased. Oh, that's a Dark Elite! Okay, now he's awoken. Alright, my friend, you're awoke. Oh! Okay, we're gonna let him um, let him play around with the wheel for a moment here, and also going to teleport up to y'all and teleport behind you and say nothing personnel and just kill you like that. Imagine trying to do the um, that that one thing I'm always complaining about in Act Three, like the the Masher's trap segment. Imagine trying to do that with this guy who has no like iframes on his dash. <laughs> Imagine. Just to think about it for two seconds and then shudder with like fear. I mean, it's a terrifying thought. Actually, do we need mana cycle? I forgot we had aging. We have no, we have aging, but no ability spam stuff. We need to fix this. The run's still doing well, but also I probably should not be this guy during this fight either. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be very cautious about using this guy in a fight like this. As say as I swap into him and use him. You know, it's just a classic Haxa thing where I'm always like talking about how I should be cautious about something. And then I just throw caution to the wind and stop caring. And just want to like do the fun thing. Wheel, do your thing. Take care of her. You're not... Okay, you can ult though. I don't like it, but... 
Yeah, I can't stop you. It's too late. His ult's pretty nasty, honestly. Like, there are some ults in this game I don't care about whenever an adventurer is about to do it. I just kind of, like, am like, eh, whatever. You can do that. His is not one of those. He is nasty. All right, there we go. Beautiful. That went about as well as I would have hoped. With a skeleton skull, I mean, who can't uh, dodge damage. You know, like I would say, pretty good. Pretty dang good. Bone shards, probably over this, even though this is direct max HP. And we do have Super Baby. I think bone shards in the long term represent more. Also, the alchemist was there. I know there's like a fun thing we could do there with like alchemist and this guy together, but uh no <laughs> no just to show you guys by the way you can try and talk to arachne with this guy she says it's impossible with that head something she usually only reserves for a couple of skulls but she says it about him even though he's a unique pretty nice pretty cool all right now we got some damage oh, i didn't mean to do that i meant to do this uh after this i'm going to scale my hp maybe or ah, skill cooldown makes sense too. We just have to get some items that uh, work with it. You know, we, we, we got to make our skill cooldown for a reason. All right, that's a dark elite. Come over here. Yep. Yep. Oh, uh, I think we're fine here. I think the mashes are done. All right, we're going to wheel it up here. I don't know why the wheel went that way. Wheel, you had one job. One job. And you... Couldn't even do that. I'm very disappointed in you. And I'm a fan, by the way. Oh, come on. <laughs> All of those missed. Come on. <laughs> Game. All right, there we go. See, we're doing damage now. It's actually not even bad damage, honestly. It still is probably just Alchemist, but worse. But Also, I'm pretty sure that uh, the Alchemist abilities on this guy is a Mr. Bakunudo Baku um, addition that he made himself. An executive call. Oh, my God. <laughs> we can't dash through that. I almost tried it. But um, I think this guy, since he's such early in the development, he literally only has one skill, and it's this here. Which I also mentioned is the stun flask. It shouldn't be. It should be something else. But I also don't really blame Mr. Bakon Nudo. Honestly, I'm just happy that it's in the game at all. It's so cool. Like I said, though, I'm probably not going to play this mod too often, if maybe this being the only time until he also implements the other stuff. I'm not into sandbox um, gameplay. Um, I, I I enjoy the RNG of Skull. I like um, every run feeling like a new experience. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers having fun with um, the sandbox mod. You know, by all means, have fun with it. It's not for me. This is for me, though. I'm very much enjoying what we're doing here. Okay. What are we looking for? That could be fine, but... I like my extra bit of like security. We could take this and get a real fairy tale three, which would improve our spirits quite a bit. Get rid of this. Actually, yes. We have dual one. Well, we'll fix that later. Um, I'm probably gonna get rid of mana cycle and buy dual again. We might be a little weak in the short term, but now our spirits are gonna be doing more uh, damage more often. So, I stand by that call. Even though it did screw up my duel. But we needed to get off the Misfortune 4. And really, honestly, the spirits are pretty hard carrying this run, if I'm being completely real with y'all. So, that and Jones's... Or Jones... <laughs> Jones! Jones's is, uh, item. Which is very nice. And honestly makes this skull playable at all. <laughs> like I said, very grateful. We'll do a little bit of swap action there. Um, if you didn't notice, uh, the Plague Doctor's swap deals physical damage. Um, kind of awkwardly so, because like he, everything else he does is magic focused. But like you could normally pretty successfully build in a mixed direction. But like this guy deals no damage at all anyway. So it's like he really just does nothing. <laughs> like his swap it just does no damage at all. So keep that in mind uh it's terrible still though you know all's well in the uh, game <laughs> i was about to say all is well in the hood but i was like wait that why am i saying that 
We could maybe fully get off of our... Why, why do I want Mutant, though? I don't really want Mutant at all. Like, because we're... The swap isn't good. So, let's not... I was about to say, let's get off Misfortune, but honestly, our Misfortune's pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, we just need Ability Spam. Maybe that's what will get me off the Misfortune, is if we can just get some Ability Spam going. Then I would feel pretty comfortable doing it. We're gonna let that blow up. The Dark Elite is still alive? What the heck? Brother, get out of my game. I'm sick of you. Die to the Plague Doctor, which is just embarrassing, by the way. Like, straight up. Frankly speaking, that is pathetic. Like, he's not a good skull. Like, the spirits are, like, following behind him, and they're, like, kind of glancing at each other every once in a while and, like, like rolling their eyes. <laughs> like, we're doing all of this. This is BS. We don't even get Oberon. Nope, you don't get Oberon, unless a miracle happens. I don't plan on it. Bo oh, okay, I was a little early there. It's not a big deal. The cooldown on this is kind of ridiculous, like straight up. But as you can see, it does 0, 0.0 damage, so. It is what it is. We're still going to try and uh, bring this guy to victory. Okay, I cannot be the Plague Doctor. Whenever she does that, I will take a bajillion damage for no reason. Ah! We'll do some swap action here. We have, like, stacked shields. One of them disappeared. Unforge. I just saw uh, a buff down there that I've never seen before. It might be related to the Plague Doctor. I'm going to see if I can get that to happen again. Oh, no, it was Ritual Staff. <laughs> Never mind. You know, easy come, easy go. Oh, that's terrible. That was a horrific thing that almost happened there. Being out as the Plague Doctor, surrounded by Poison Pillars, not ideal. Oh. Oh, please die, Defulgent. Oh, wait, I'm stuck in the mist. All right, we did it. We beat... Uh, the Chimera with our insane item. This item is crazy, guys. <laughs> this item is insane. And nothing. Except max HP, which is probably my option here. Though this is quite nice. It's artifact and antique. And we do have antique to bot, which I don't like. So I could easily get rid of this. Although, for what? Because this is my artifact and this where's my other artifact artifact did i do i still have art no i have mana cycle and antique bot why do i have artifact too oh. <laughs> oh my god silly me silly freaking me misfortune could easily stop being a part of this run it's not bad, but I don't think it's necessary. And this is a very good item. Just for the raw stats. I would lose some collection desire value in the short term. And I could always just take max HP. Hmm. Decisions. Mmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Genuinely. I'm going to... Boink! Maybe I'll buy Misfortune. I don't know. But I do think this is better. Try and go Artifact 4, maybe. We got things to do. Places to go. People to see. Damage to get. And Go-Getter gets maxed out here, and there's Melanophobia. I don't think I should take it. It's a trap. Because, like, what would I get rid of? All of this is super, super helpful. Eh. We're moving on. On the way. We'll just uh, continue forward with what we got. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take a boop break here. If you are new to the channel, it's just where I, like stop the recording and go like do something in real life for a bit and then i come back but we do it with the boop method just so it's like you know quick and easy so here comes the boop i'll be right back after the boop boop 
Alrighty guys, it's that simple. We're back. The boot method works. I'm gonna finish out this. Probably should even not put all of them into this. And we'll add, actually I said I was gonna do HP next, but I changed my mind. <laughs> uh, I wanna do my skill cooldown. I think we already have a pretty good amount of HP, honestly. We do need to get antique, I think, back. Let me reacquaint myself with what was, no, we got antique, okay. We need to either get artifact four or get rid of one of our artifact items, but our artifact items are so good that I'm gonna not do that. We'll see what happens. We have a space open now. We no, no longer need antique uh, bot on our inscription pedestals. So hopefully we can get something good there. And I gotta be very careful with this character in act four because this is where things get real. We got these fools to deal with and that's even a disaster dark elite, so. You'll love to see that. Thankfully, we have so much skill cooldown that maybe we're fine. Copium. I mean, my man is struggling. Oh, ow, ow. Okay, never mind. He's not. He's doing fine. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's it's getting serious, guys. We were doing so well. Just keep our distance. We do have some levity. Or levity. Is that the word I'm actually looking for? I don't know. We have some amount of cushion, I guess I'd say, with uh, with our Grace of Leonia. I'm gonna try and get the mist here. Um. Okay. Sure. I was gonna say ideally we keep the stun, but I'll be happy with this. Any amount of cushion we can have against our enemies to not like instantly die with um with our lack of iframes, I will be very happy to have. So. I'm going to be very cautious of Executioners in particular because um, they are very, very um, like uh, good at dealing a bunch of damage very quickly. Our shield here only has 20 uh, HP barriers, so it's like we got to be cautious. Use our basics, which is like so dumb. I shouldn't be doing it, but I'm going to do it against those guys, I guess. But honestly, that's like a thing we should just completely ignore. But how <laughs> we will not ignore this. That could be Antique 4. Wow. Oh my gosh, what do I do? <laughs> do we get rid of this? We just got it. Actually, yeah, actually I do think I do that. That, we've seen this how many times now? Like at least three. This is great, actually. What's our mana cycle? Oh, we have mana cycle bot. Where's our other mana cycle? Oh, it's on this. Uh-oh. Maybe we get rid of our... Yeah, we get rid of the Fire Salamander. Get rid of mana cycle. Get rid of Antique. We have to take this across two shots. But this will help our Go-Getter a lot. I'm going to buy Heirloom, I think. And then... Oh! Okay, I can't afford it. I thought for a moment maybe I could. And we'll fix Antique in the next shot. But that's like a pretty big upgrade here, honestly. Um, that was an insane shop, all things said. Despite losing 25, or is it 20? It's, oh, wait. Oh, I'm looking at the, I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. Uh, 25, it's 25. For some reason, I was looking at Wisdom 4 and trying to glean something from that. I don't know. But yeah, the um, Pot of Greed is an insane pickup. Now, I don't know. Um, things feel pretty good. Obviously, it's still a little touch and go thanks to just the nature of our Plague Doctor. But it feels pretty good, actually, especially with how consistent this stun is. It's pretty dang good. And now we have the Mage's Necklace also providing a little bit. Really, all we need now is Bone of Mana, and we'll be, like, super, super ready to go. Maybe an Omen could be nice i can't think of a good omen but maybe there will be one that's the mana cycle omen personally in my opinion not very good i don't like how it's like every time you use it it changes it'd be nicer if it was like every other time or something you have like no time to actually exist in one of these states to make use of it so i don't know this omen in my opinion could use some work um None of this is super interesting to me, so we'll just break the omen, I suppose. All of my mana cycle stuff I currently have are just way better. And I ain't risking this run. 
Not over anything stupid. Did our... No, he is alive. Penance. Kind of nasty with it, I'll be honest. But, um... You know, it could be worse, I guess. So... And we'll, ex we'll accept the dubs where we can. How did... I hit you with stun, sir. I saw that. I hit you. How did he die? The world may never know. Let's be honest. I'm going to summon the mist. Uh, whoops. I forgot that the back roll is pretty nasty and it sent me flying like way off into the distance. We can see. Oh, why did that not summon a, uh, a guy or a tentacle? I actually don't know. I expected it to full. I fully expected it to summon a tentacle there. I'm a little confused. We're just going to continue to collect skull shards. Um, we have so much arachnid scaling left to do. You know, it, it's just uh, it's what we got to do. Ah! I think we got those guys. Uh, I know for a fact they deal more than uh, more than 20 HP. So if, if they exploded, I think we would have known it. So I'm pretty sure we did get them. All right. You know what? It, things are going okay. They could be going worse, so we got that to uh, consider. I think when we get to Act 4 Part 2, it's going to feel pretty significantly worse than it feels right now. Because there's a pretty big difficulty gap uh, increase in Act 4 Part 1 and 2. Um, and also, we're going up against the Adventurers here, which we genuinely have to be extremely afraid of using our Plague Doctor. Depending on especially who it is. Um, just be cautious. Okay, I was literally thinking, I, I, I honestly think she's the last one I want to see because she has a lot of moves that are beam attacks that you have to dash through to avoid, and we can't do that. So, yeah. Probably shouldn't play the uh, Plague Doctor very much here. Still going to swap out to him every once in a while. This uh, Something like this, right? The Plague Doctor is completely defenseless against. There's nothing he can do, except unless, of course, there is a thing over here. He's kind of, I'm not going to lie, on a build like this, he kind of slays. But the thing you have to remember is, at least I think, like, the um, the Alchemist would just be doing what he's doing right now, but better. <laughs> Which is funny. Still good, though. Like, much better than I expected. But yeah, Alchemist is just this, but better, basically. Because this is like... As it stands currently, just the Alchemist reskin with, like, a lot worse happening to it, like, under the surface. You know, like, no uh, no iframes on your dash, stuff like that. Still, though, it's it's fun to play him. Uh, I think we can max out here. Mm, it's looking like we're not going to be, yeah, just barely missing it. Um, but, I don't know, I feel pretty good going into this next part of the game. Um, but, you know, only time will tell. Honestly, though, I think ultimately we'll end up owing our success on this run to the insane OPness, and I know how that sounds. I just couldn't think of another way to describe it. I'll be honest. The the insane amount of uh, of uh, power <laughs> that um, the Leonia uh, or like the 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 extra Joan item has it's very good. Like it's it's exceptionally good. Or even just running away from once as the Plague Doctor. You know, actually playing him as a skull. I don't even know if how possible this run would be without uh, Grace of Leonia. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Especially buffed Grace of Leonia where it, like the cooldown doesn't work the way it says it should. Like, this is very powerful. And really, honestly, you need a build like this with him. Like, you need... Uh, ability spam with like some kind of items that make it function now that we have the um the mage's necklace it's like this run is kind of out of control it's kind of funny that like it genuinely feels like this is something that this character who is like just bad in every sense could actually be pretty decent at like i said i hope they implement this guy eventually um it's he's just for one he looks great like uh, for being as early as it is, and the devs have, like, objectively gotten better at pixel art as they've designed the game, he still looks really good. And, like, we need a poison rep in this game. We need a poison representative for skulls. And he would be a very good, uh, representative for poison. So, hopefully they 
get around to implementing him. And keep in mind, he is unique. Like, he still has room to grow. Like, you know, there could be more forms after this. Anyways, let's look what we... Oh, yeah, duel. Easy. Easy duel. And I think we're done there. Um, The only thing I think I kind of want is um, Wisdom 4, but I don't know how I get it. Oh, this has to go. We'll save our money. We'll even take some item rooms. Um, I do want to get rid of the freaking um, invisible knife, though. I don't think it's a... Uh, it's like the only thing that makes no sense on this run. It made sense earlier in the run, but now we're long past uh, crit stuff. We're fully into ability spam. Get him! Oh yeah, this thing is... Oh no, no, it's not immune to stun. For some reason, I thought it was. We're gonna swap. Don't know why, but we're going to. Can we avoid the summon here? No. <laughs> His dash screwed him there. You can uh, skip some fights there, but you have to be very quick with your dash. It, it literally only skips one enemy. But speedrunners, take note. You know, you can skip that guy. Ooh, here's our chance. That has to be it, right? That literally has to be it. Hidden Blade is interesting, but we're not basic attacking. We're not swapping this. We're going to have Artifact 3, which is awkward, but like this item is pretty much exactly what we kind of need. There's a chance I get rid of it moving out of Act... Um, out of Joan, especially if we get offered the Archbishop Scriptures, I will 100% take those. But um, that's a pretty nice pickup for now. And there's also a chance if we do get Archbishop Scriptures... That I get rid of something else that's artifact, though with these two items, the chances of that are pretty slim. I don't know. We'll think about it. This run feels like it might be good enough to not really struggle too awful much, but we have to keep in mind the Dark Hero, all of his attacks do more than 20 damage, and um, my Plague Doctor cannot dodge his moves, which is pretty bad. So, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, not ideal, but I think we'll be fine. Hopefully, Copium. Also, I'm pretty sure the um, the mist protects our barrier too. I haven't really looked yet to see if that's a thing, but uh, maybe if we play place our mist from our thief inside of a barrier, we can keep the barrier around a little bit longer, which would be like a weird little synergy. All right, that's uh, that's Joan. So we're moving on. We made it this far. <laughs> it's a it's a miracle. Um, we'll free her. All right, what do you got, my dear friend? Well, it's still disappointing for you to summon that right now of all the times. Uh, you're you're just disappointing, Halfling. I don't know what else to tell you. Very disappointed in you. All right, so it's time for Joan. Got a little bit of awkward inscription stuff going on here, but it's not a super big deal. Um, it's not a perfect collection design, but it's a good collection design. That's all that matters. With all that said, how is this going to go? I mean, uh, probably well. I feel pretty good about this. Just like this guy is such an unknown. Um, wow, look how weird he looks. Like, why isn't his nose sticking out? Oh, wait, it is. It just blends in super well with this. He looks so small and awkward compared to, like, the thief sticking out like that. <laughs> I, know, I don't know why it's just sticking out to me like that, but he, he looks kind of whack in there. I don't know. That's nitpicky. Anyways, it's Joan time. Ah, my tea is gone. <clears throat> I would say this is probably the, the time where I'm finishing my tea off the most is going into Joan. Sometimes I still have some left over at the end of the run. I don't know. I'm really hoping I get this windscreen. I want this um, this Plague Doctor windscreen pretty badly. Oh, I thought this, I thought the stupid um, shield had spawned over here for a moment. Also, Plague Doctor is completely helpless against this attack. Oh my god, he's so so helpless against that move. Oh, I gotta keep that in mind because that will that will destroy me if I'm not careful. Ah, he's also defenseless against that, which is another really disgusting move that Joan can do. Honestly, Plague Doctor kind of owning. Look at this. Ah! No! 
All right, Plague Doctor, I complimented you for two seconds, and you just had to go and, like, show me that I was wrong for even thinking for a moment that you're decent, so. You just, uh, you, you, you can't, like, uh, just have nice things, can you, sir? All right, we're gonna run away. How, what, okay, I guess the barrier disappeared? I don't know. That seemed pretty quick. The, uh, barrier from Leonia's, um, Grace? <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It keeps throwing me off. This is going to very quickly lose its shield. Yeah, it's gone already. God, he throws this very quickly. Actually, I think he's like faster at this than, um, than the alchemist is, which is interesting. Like, maybe this is something he actually is pretty uniquely good at. Like, he throws these very quickly. And also has, like, I think higher cooldown than the Alchemist. Wow. Um, he... <laughs> it's, it's not half bad, which is the funny thing. It's actually not terrible. If only he had iframes. Oh, what? Um... Hmm. <laughs> Mmm, hmm. I think it has to be this goes, right? Everything else is too good. I mean, that does give me wisdom four, but I have an awkward artifact three. I don't think we'll actually need this, to be honest with you. We're just going to leave it. And we have no use for our uh, dark abilities. So we're just going to cruise on through. Yup. That looks about good to me. We don't have a ton of bone shards here, but we have enough to do something, I suppose. Let me make sure everything's... Okay, we're good. <laughs> it's a terrible time to check the recording and see if everything's good, but... Uh, no, it's uh, it's kind of in my genes at this point to be irresponsible when it comes to making sure my recording is good. Alright. So, you know, this is an interesting run, all said and done. Definitely, I think I owe a lot of it to this insane overpowered item that we have. Otherwise, we'd be taking a ton of damage as this character. In fact, you might need that item to play as this guy. But honestly, he's still okay. Like, he's doing just fine. I did I kind of want to look for Artifact 4. Also, what's this do? Two maps? Never mind. But honestly, Heirloom's probably too good to just ditch. So we'll keep it for now. Juggle a Quint here. Keep our Cyclops to the end. And consider this a done deal. Here's my kit as the Plague Doctor. Um, it's interesting. It is interesting. Um, like, it feels pretty dang good. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Although, obviously, I owe a lot of that to the item I have. Um, I'm pretty happy I didn't keep that quintessence to the end. I don't think it would have done me a lot of good on a build like this. Like, I just don't see a lot of value for it. <laughs> Why am I doing this? This is stupid. Broke my heirloom for no reason. Just dumb of me. His basic is terrible. Though it'd be pretty fun to see someone try and build a basic run of this guy. Like, it, it just... If the if the flasks broke like they're supposed to, it would be pretty interesting. Maybe there would be some value to it. But even then, it's just like... It's still not very good. I should really just stop doing it in general. I think they hit me there. And I took it on my swap shield. So I'm actually really lucky I swapped at that time. Also, his swap miss does no damage, so just keep that in mind. This guy is a fully... Like, he is definitely a special attacker in his current state. Alright. So we did it with the... Uh, we got here with the Plague Doctor, which I'm pretty happy about. Although, like I said, this item has a lot to do with that. Um, however, the Dark Hero is a whole other thing himself. Plague Doctor is going to be pretty hard to use in this fight, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have a lot of respect for this. Um, going to take it very carefully. I wish we had a succubus, but we do have, we have the Cyclops, which I guess I'll take, whatever. Um, no more stalling, it's time. Can the Plague Doctor with, <laughs> can Grace of Leonia beat, uh, the Dark Hero? That's the question. I don't know. Let's see. All right. Look at him scoot across the ground. It's kind of cute. Like, look at his little legs. I can't really look at his little legs right now because I'm going to be fighting this guy. Who is going to be quite a mess. I'm going to respect the hell out of him. 
Oh my god. He's already doing his jump. Oh, guys. I <laughs> Wait, is this actually destroying him? Is this actually good? And we don't even have, like, um... We don't even have mana bone. <laughs> like, we're just destroying him. Oh my god. This is actually destroying him. He's getting owned. Dude, the Plague Doctor kind of nice with it. With the ability spam, dude? He, go he goes wild. Okay, we took a ton there. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, he didn't get to do his jump? Dude! Freaking dude! It's gotta be Grace of Leonia. It has to be. I refuse to believe this guy's good. Okay, we gotta respect this, though. However... Okay, I'm gonna respect it. <laughs> But I'm going to swap now, now we have this up. I'm, I'm also basic attacking for the record. Wait, this... <laughs> guys, I think I think this is actually unironically pretty good. Ah! No iframes! Where'd they go? <laughs> Devs, help! Oh no! Plague Doctor! Oh my god, his single dash! He he dodged it with his single only dash! That is wild. Ah! Okay, I took a little bit there, but it's fine. Guys, we broke the game with this guy, I'm not gonna lie. Respect! Come at me! Which one is this? It's this one, okay. Ah! Didn't mean to do that. I'm basic attacking, I'm basic attacking! Wait, we can dodge this with this guy. Like, it's very easy, actually. Except for that. However, for we're pretty much forced to take this damage. I don't see a way around it. Oh wait, yeah, I do! We have to mist! I forgot! He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? This guy owns. Wait, what is what does this do again? It only increases magic attack. It's not amp. So like literally, that was just like the power of like ability spam and go getter. And this guy's like extremely fast, uh, like animation, working really well. <laughs> that was wild. And honestly, I don't think the fast animation is like how he's intended. I think it's just because like the way the mod is. But, like, he actually does not feel that bad if you can do stuff like that. I, okay, now we can look at his little feet. Look at him, like, scoot around. It's pretty cute. All right, anyways. um, I kind of want to get my flask over here. It's just to show I was basic attacking. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm maybe going to try and do this. No, I was, like, barely off. I wanted to get his in-air attack. But it works. It, it's fine. <laughs> honestly, the spirits, I, I, the whole time I was convinced the spirits were like the power of this run. But honestly, this guy on the low, like with, with how he is in this mod, if you can get the right build going, and obviously you pretty much need this item. I'm, I'm still not going to lie. I'm not coping that hard. You you need this item. It, it's so, so, so important. Um, because he has no iframes on his dash. Like he's completely, constantly vulnerable to damage. But if you do the right things with this guy, he's pretty good, which is hilarious to say. Um, just got to do the right stuff. Uh, need a good partner skull. I don't think this guy on his own solo dolo would be pretty good. But, you know, if you do the Hexa method, which you all should be doing, build two skulls to legendary, I'm telling you. Um, if you do that and you bring this guy along, you can actually do something interesting with him. And obviously this build was just good in general. But GG's, man. What an interesting run. Completely unexpected. Literally, like, I I didn't think this would happen. I didn't think this would be easy. I, I thought I would die in, like, Act 4 and be like, well, we, we tried and we had fun. At least we played the mod. At least we checked out the skull. But we freaking won. That's the surprise of the day. <laughs> what a what a fun run. And, like I said, Mr. Bakunado, uh, shout outs. Uh, this is his mod. And, um, you know... Try it out for yourself. Like I said, there's a Balrog without being attached to a Quintessence. I'm not going to play it. 
Um, I'm only interested in this. I'm probably done with this, at least until he releases the vampire, Dracula, which is a skull that's also in the code that isn't released yet. Once he releases that, I'm super in. I'll play around with that. Um, <clears throat> this is just like a, a shocking surprise to me um, that this guy actually ended up being pretty decent. <laughs> But yeah, um, Plague Doctor, unreleased skull, been in the game for a very long time, to the point to where if you go to the Sprider's resource, which hasn't been updated in who knows how long, he's on there. Same with Dracula, so like, whoever data mined the files way, way, way back got him in it, so. Honestly, he's, pro like I said, probably pre-alpha, like early, early, early development of the game, and they came up with the Alchemist and couldn't figure out how to fit this guy in and probably just didn't implement him. And he's been stuck in limbo ever since. But devs, he's in the game. He exists. Poison skulls. They here's the thing. Also, Grave Digger also was in the game way, way, way back in the day, unimplemented, and they released him eventually. So I'm hoping, praying that this guy gets the treatment because it's unfair. He looks so sick. Like what a cool looking skull. And imagine his legendary form. There's so much you can do with like a poison skull, and there's no representative for the status in the game yet. And he would be perfect. So devs, hear my cry. Release the Plague Doctor. Anyways, uh, I had a great time. I hope you did as well. Like Once again, one final shout out to Mr. Bakunado. Nudo. <laughs> um, he's uh, modding the game. There's not a lot of people doing it right now. In fact, just maybe like two or three. And most of the people haven't released their mods. He has. And if you want to have a little bit of fun, do some crazy wacky stuff in the game, a sandbox mod is perfect for you. Not for me. But for you, you know, go for it, man. Have fun. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.